Tomorrow morning, former Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos will blast off rather to the edge of space in his own spaceship. Now, this will be a landmark moment for Blue Origin, that's his space company, and for Van Horn, Texas. That's the closest town to where this space drama will play out. Mark Straussman joins us once again from Van Horn with more on the tiny community that everybody will be watching tomorrow. So, Mark, the question for me, I'm wondering how tiny is tiny? Good morning. Good morning, Gail. Well, you're about to see just how tiny it is. I mean, let's face it, when you think about space in Texas, you think about Houston. And as you can tell, this part of the state, it's a long way from Houston. Van Horn sits about 120 miles east of El Paso. It's small, unremarkable, and a bit bewildered by its own launch into the space spotlight. Van Horn, West Texas, typically known as a tank of gas and a bathroom break. A pit stop for I-10 travelers, some who grab a bite at Lisa Cottrell's restaurant before moving on to the next dot of humanity. About 100 miles, any direction. For anyone or anything. <laughs> Pretty much. Van Horn has a couple thousand people tops. We drove in on the main drag. This Broadway has no neon lights. Its lighted intersection, the only one in all of Culberson County, 3,800 square miles. Yet the richest guy on the planet came here to colonize the cosmos. The my town part of it is, is the thing that's the most unbelievable. Becky Brewster knows all about Blue Origin's local impact. She ought to. She's Van Horn's mayor. I don't think we've ever had anything quite this big. This is kind of fell in your lap. Yes, it definitely fell in our lap. More like walked into Larry Simpson's office in 2005. He owned and published the weekly paper, The Van Horn Advocate. Circulation, 1,500. Came through the front door. Jeff Bezos in the flesh with a story idea. Bezos quietly had been buying out local ranchers, by one estimate, assembling roughly 300,000 acres in all. He started filling me in on why he was buying ranch land, why he wanted it for his kids. And then we got around, uh, he wanted it also to build a spaceport. He buried the lead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Were you thinking yourself, really, in Van Horn, Texas? I immediately said, this could put Van Horn on the map. That front page news stunned Van Horn and beyond. For one day, the Van Horn advocate had the biggest headline in the space world. In the space world, yes, sir. Lisa Cottrell remembers thinking, come on. Well, I think anybody's first reaction would be, okay, we'll see how far that goes. <laughs> Not Becky Brewster. What went through your mind? Oh, how cool. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I watched Star Trek and Star Wars, so this, this was just cool. Over time, Bezos became the face of space in Van Horn. 25 miles north of the city, Blue Origin built a spaceport. 275 company employees work here. Rockets launched. Tuesday morning, one of them will carry Bezos himself to space with three other passengers. Hello, thank you for calling Hotel Lo Capitan. This is Van Horn has a star date with history. We are completely booked. Hotel El Capitan's 50 rooms sold out months ago for the launch. And then this is going to be the Jubilee. Starvana Cottrell, hometown girl, great name, is the general manager. We're nervous. I'm nervous. I don't know who's coming. Like, there's going to just be random people flooding in here. I don't know what we're going to do with them. But I'm super excited about what's going to happen. But it's a little scary. What do you hope the town gets out of this? Well, I hope that people now recognize, you know, who we are on the map and know that we're so much more than just a tumbleweed town. Sheriff Oscar Carrillo and his entire force, 10 deputies, hope they have a plan for crowd control. He warns most spectators won't see much. Texas Highway 54, which runs to the spaceport, will close for 12 miles as Van Horn readies to reach for the stars. If you hadn't rented a room, you're not going to get one. If you hadn't rented an RV spot, you're not going to find one. Big expectation to see Jeff Bezos walking down our highways, you're not going to see it. The closest thing is going to be a mural across the street. So <laughs> okay. take a lot of pictures. <laughs> <laughs>
Van Horn feels a little overwhelmed. There are only a handful of restaurants, for instance, and hundreds of space fans could be showing up. So all in all, I think people are both excited and a little bit nervous about tomorrow's big moment, probably a little bit like Jeff Bezos and his three fellow passengers. Or, Anthony? or Jeff Bezos, as they call him in Van Horn, <laughs> which is surely on the map now. Thank you, Mark. And be sure to tune in to CBS News tomorrow morning for special coverage of the launch and landing of the Blue Origin spacecraft. Gail will lead our coverage from Texas. That's tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 6 Pacific. And there's more space coverage on today's CBS This Morning podcast. Mark discusses the billionaire space race with CBS News space contributor Bill Harwood. We'll be right back.